things that inspire me to make art and to be an artist are culture. You know, I'm a Native American woman. I grew up in Detroit, you know, in the city is like rough. Being also like a child taken to the country and having, you know, kind of this dual life where once I'm like, I'm a black girl in Detroit, it don't matter, like everybody's black. And then to be, you know, this mixed person going to a reservation and getting in touch with that side of my family was super inspiring for me. Traveling the world and also being rooted in America, like being a, a real American is what inspires me. It makes me want to uh, do it for the culture. Like, I got to keep it going. I have all these skills and I don't know why. Like, I don't feel like, oh, I'm so good at this. I feel com like completely lost like 80% of the way, and then you hit that point where you're like, oh, this thing is like, it's like molding, and I'm like, what? And then I'm, I'm excited to do it, so I don't feel like it's me necessarily. It comes through my ancestry, or these things have been passed down, and if I didn't use them, it would be a complete waste, and a slap in the face, you know, to the gods, or whatever you want to call it. My name is Constance Patton, and I'm an artist. Multimedia artist. I do sculpture, casting, bronze casting, welding. Uh, I build things like I dabble in carpentry, work, um, and I paint. You know, I'm kind of like absorbed and obsessed with art in a way. And I grew up in a in a household full of artists. Both my grandmothers are, were artists. They both passed last year. I grew up mostly with my grandmother Mildred, and sh we had a kiln in the basement. Like we were surrounded by art. She would like set up art um, festivals like locally. She made real like 70s bell bottom tailor suits. Uh, my other grandmother, she painted and she drew and she made these quilts. Like she was a giant quilt maker. So whenever a child was born in a family, like you got a quilt, period. Like I still have mine. What's interesting is one of my grandmothers, she recognized herself as an artist. You know, she's like, I'm Native American, and you know, we grew up like going to the reservation, going to Prime, so like, I grew up around like a basket weaving, you know, beautiful women. You know how you ask for things, and then they happen, but you don't know when they're gonna happen. And so to be in this space now is completely special. And especially like now, I mean, I know people here, you know, I'm like a part of this community here. I walk down the street, I see it, my friends, they're all artists and musicians, they're all artists, they're all creating. I am 100% proud and, and honored to be walking amongst these creators. I have a company, um, it's an art production company called Willie and Sable. And I say art production because we make art, you know, like we do some fashion things, some houseware things, but it's about creating art and using our own art to make things that are kind of cool. So I work with uh, Baron Claiborne, he's a photographer, he's just amazing. We started a line of Biggie sweaters and um, he took the Notorious B.I.G. as a King of New York photo, that's the famous one with the crown. I got uh, our friend to illustrate you know, a rendition of it for like a, a ugly Christmas sweater. We wanted to make something really beautiful. We wanted to have something, again, for the culture. I'm, you know, I'm like, everyone's doing these ugly sweaters. Like, why don't we make something really nice and feels good on you? I started working with Baron and using his archive. And so he's doing a project with me over the next um, year or two where he's releasing some unreleased uh, f photographs, you know, through us. And some will be based in hip hop, but then he has a whole Saint series that's just like breathtaking. I represent for black women all day, like all day, every day, all day, every day, you know? And I guess like feminism for me is like, I'm a, I'm a feminist in the sense of I'm a woman out here creating and a lot of my work is based on women. I've been to, to 15 countries, so in my travels, I've always been interested in adornment and, and women and what are they doing? Like where are they working? You know, because we carry culture too. You know, it's kind of like both. My father would played a big part in my life, like bigger than my mother. You know, so I see the struggles that dudes go through too. I'm a feminist in the sense I'm a woman, like I'm a strong woman and I'm representing for these women out here too, you know, like for the little girl. I just want to be an inspiration. And actually two of my students, they got full ride scholarships into art programs. And actually she works with me now, I hired her, I gave her a job, 
I don't like the negative part of feminism. You know, like sometimes people get so angry and they're like, I'm a feminist. And I get that, like you should be angry, you know, but it's like, who are you gonna be angry at? It's a society and this is where we live, you know? For me, it's like, I used to get angry about all those things, even with the president. Like my goal is to offset all that. Just be weird, like be happy, spread love, joy. And like, that's a distraction because we're here for a finite amount of time and it's up to you to do what you're gonna do, you know? I think it's a special time for women though right now. It's, it's certainly a special time. Like, the whole time's up. Yeah, time's up, but now what? Like, what are we gonna do now? And for me, it's like, just keep creating. Like, you know, my protest is being in my studio every day. And yeah, I'm told what I should do and what I shouldn't do, what I should look like, what I shouldn't look like, all day, you know? And I'm fearless though. You know, I came from these strong women and men. And I'm, you know, I'm proud to be a woman, I love it. I'm trying to spread love. I don't care about like, you know, look at me, woody woo. Like I'm here on this planet to create and, and like spread this love that's coming out of somewhere. I don't, I don't really know where.